Hey guys, welcome to this Witcher 3 first person and adjustable camera tutorial. And what I'd like to show you in this tutorial is how to install a mod that allows you to make your camera view adjustable. So you can use an example to scroll wheel just like Skyrim or Fallout to zoom in and zoom out on your view even until you have this wonderful first person view. And this was actually the main reason why I waited to play uh, The Witcher 3 because in my opinion if you do not have first person view in this game you're going to miss out a lot of details and um, sure third person looks nice but first person is just way better for exploring in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys hate, um, uh, maybe hate is not a correct word but really are oh i got the bad software found don't know what the hell is that anyway um a lot of you guys think that the using a first person view in a witcher series is lore unfriendly but in my opinion if you can just explore in first person view so you make sure you see all the wonderful details of the game and when you have combat you can just zoom out and you know do the combat like you're used to I think that works the best with The Witcher 3 in my opinion. And I'm really glad I did wait until this first mod has finally been released. So yeah, as you can see in the game I now have all HUD elements disabled. You can also do that by going to Options, go to Video, go to Reskill HUD or HUD Configuration to um, uh, turn on or off anything that you would like in game. Anyway, just leave everything on the HUD for now because we are also going to install a mod that will auto hide our HUD elements unless we are going to need it and when using which which your senses the HUD will reappear. So okay enough talk, let's go back to the desktop and let me show you how to install the adjustable camera mod and the auto HUD hider. Okay, so we're back on the desktop. And what you want to do is you want to go to the following site, which is the Nexus Mods for The Witcher 3. This is a pretty new um, section since The Witcher 3 has now been added for modding on Nexus Mods. And I would recommend you to use Nexus Mod Manager for managing mods for The Witcher 3. If you're going to install one or two mods, it is fine to install them manually, but for now um, I'm going to show you how to use Nexus Mod Manager for The Witcher 3. On top of this page, which I will include the uh, description in my uh, feeder, uh, sorry, the link in my video description for this mod, and it is called Active Witcher Zoom. You're also always able to search for it on Nexus Mods and find the mod there also. And uh, first download Nexus Mod Manager, and it could be that you need to have a Nexus account. So if you do not have, have that already, make sure you regis register yourself. And so you are able to download Nexus Mod Manager. That will give you an exe file and install that exe file. Then uh, first start up, it will, let's see, probably look something like this. And it will search for your games that are compatible with the Nexus Mod Manager. I have Skyrim, I will leave that on. Um, Witcher 3, um, if you do have the good old games version, then it will look something like this, the path. And if you do have the Steam version, it will look something like uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. So double check if that folder is correct, then click on OK. And then you are able to click on Stop Searching. So, um, it will stop searching for games because we are only going to use The Witcher 3 for now. Then click on The Witcher 3 if you have multiple games, else it will go automatically to The Witcher 3. And if you already have the Nexus Mod Manager installed, you might notice that The Witcher 3 is not appearing in your version. That is correct, you have to download the new version and don't worry about uh, your games because it will just update your current version. I had to do that as well. So uh, let's go to The Witcher 3. I have already the two mods installed, but you probably have zero mods. You should have zero mods. And what you want to do is go to Active Witcher Zoom um, on the files page. 
And there is a new version, it seems, added by the 4th of September 2015, which is pretty recent. Allows you to um, ad use an additional modifier input for single zoom in uh, or out. An example, shift key plus mouse wheel. So you can still use your original mouse wheel. Well, I'm not going to use the mouse wheel anyway, because if I want to use signs, I'm going to use the tab key. And um, I'm going to use my mouse wheel for zooming in and zooming out, just like on Skyrim or the Fallout series. And so I would recommend you to download just this version, Active Witcher Zoom. I have that also installed, else you can try using this version, but um, you have to check out how, to, how that works for yourself. But for now, just click on this version, Active Witcher Zoom, which was added the 2nd of September, or maybe if there is a newer version of this Active Witcher Zoom, uh, click on download directly with the manager. And the reason why we're downloading directly with the manager is because these are such small mods. They don't really matter to have them downloaded uh, and saved on your hard disk. So click on download with manager and a pop-up will probably show up, in, uh, show up in your Nexus mod manager asking you to install the mod. Of course, select yes. Then it will probably have a red cross in front of it and you have to select this button, which has a green arrow instead of a red arrow like mine because the mine, my mod is already activated and it should say activate selected mod. So do that first, activate uh, this mod, which resume. Then you also need to, ha need to have at least, I would recommend you to install this mod, Immersive HUD. Uh, you can find it on the Nexus mod space for Witcher 3 and it should be somewhere on the front page or else click on search and search for Immersive HUD. So download that. It's a nice mod by, by Gopher. Gopher. And what it does, it will hide your hut automatically so you can enjoy exploring more. And you can use your witch, witcher senses to um, let the hut reappear again. And let's see, click on files and there's only one file right now. So you can also download, download that file directly with the mod manager. Then also make sure you activate the mod. Again, I already have it activated. And that is so far for adding the mods, but the Active Witcher Zoom mod does not do anything right now unless you are going to adjust some keys to it. And I am only going to um, edit my mouse wheel to zoom in out like on Skyrim or the Fallout series or Elder Scrolls series or the Fallout series, I should say officially. And to do that, you are going to um, need to go to the following folder, which is can be found in your users username my documents folder so your my documents folder and there you will find this folder the witcher 3 and i would recommend you to create a backup of this because we are going to edit this file input that settings and um, if you mess something up it is nice to have a backup of it so make sure you backup it and especially if you uh, do not have the um uh, let's see the good old games galaxy or steam make also sure you create a backup of your save games because else you won't have cloud save like on Steam or good old games Galaxy. It will probably not mess up your save games, but it's always a good thing to backup your save games. Okay, anyway, open input that settings with Notepad or Notepad++. Just a editor to, um, to edit text files. Scroll all the way up and then search for the following line, which is I k underscore mouse z and search for that line and it's are a couple of these lines i think a couple of five or something and what you want to do then is um copy this line action is zoom player and uh make sure you change this line into action is zoom player like i have right now for you probably it will have something like um signs or something i guess but you have to change it to action is zoom player when you, once you did that, uh, <clears throat> sorry, click on next and do this for every line which has IK underscore mouse Z. So it should be like five or six, I think in total. And make sure you change the line to action is zoom player. Once you did that, you can save and close the um, text file. Since you now have successfully edited it to make sure you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. And we are going to test that, of course. And uh, you also need to make sure you adjust some of your 
HUD configuration since probably it will show you it will show some of the HUD um, still which is not being hidden by Gophers immersive HUD folder so let's open up The Witcher 3 again which I have installed on good old games galaxy so I should have clicked play which I'm going to do right now let's skip everything continue with the game Smart's tale begins near white orchard with my dear friend Geralt of and I of course already got it installed but anyway when you scroll in and out now it should go to either first person or all the way back to third person and try activating your witcher senses to let the HUD appear and as I told before I have um, for creating videos reasons I have disabled all of my HUD but that's not really fair um, so again adjust your HUD what you like with going to video go to HUD configuration and here you can adjust pretty much everything and um, let's see iHUD will basically hide every HUD aspect unless you use your Witcher senses like this yes okay well great this was the tutorial for adjusting your camera and installing i have if you have any questions please let me know on the youtube comment section or let me know it on the forum which allows you to ask more detailed questions or place any more detailed comments thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you at the next tutorial